Minutes before he passed on, Stephen Hawking cautioned of an inescapable outsider intrusion and asserted the universe would end in no time a while later. Prior in March, soon after Stephen Hawking presented a logical paper that laid out how our universe would end, and how another would have its spot, a secretive voice message was left on different Twitter client cell phones, which included Morse code from Professor Hawking. He code is said to be in the NATO phonetic letters in order and has been interpreted as, as danger SOS it is desperate for you to clear be alert they are not human 0429339642300 SOS danger SOS. Others got a more drawn out form of the message, beneath. This isn't a test, this isn't a joke. In the course of recent years we have been needing to send a computerized voice message to individuals who comprehend and are not anxious. One message at any given moment will make numerous no reality. Reality that other natural creatures have been strolling the incomparable creation that maintains life. Earth. Be that as it may. As disorder goes to your planet we should show ourselves to demonstrate that there are diverse approaches to keep peace. Numerous don't concur with what we say, so they may chase us down. We will make ourselves known to the best of our most extreme abilities. Clear your airspace for safe consequences. Several clients deciphered the Morse code and got this, they, aliens, are assuming control, and a strange line about the late researcher Stephen Hawking, which read, the message God is very much identified with Stephen Hawking's passing, you are not prepared to confront them. Two weeks previously these messages, Stephen Hawking had presented a logical paper for peer survey which cautioned that our universe was going to end. Bad Habit Reports, the working paper, submitted for distribution two weeks previously his demise, as indicated by the UK's Sunday Times may end up being a perfection of the prestigious physicist's all-consuming purpose. In his exploration, Hawking looked to take care of issues he'd been contemplating for as far back as 35 years, as far back as he distributed his hypothesis of how the universe extended after the Big Bang. The paper suggests that proof of a multiverse is perceptible out-of-sight radiation of our own universe, and that that confirmation could, in principle, be found and estimated. On the off chance that we do, truth be told, live in a multiverse, our own particular universe is only one of numerous universes out there. Taken together, the multiverse, made up of all its individual universes, would contain all of room, time, matter, and vitality. In spite of the fact that Hawking's last paper could give good faith to those planning to test for the presence of various universes, his examination additionally incorporates a somber expectation. Our universe will in the end go dull once every one of its stars come up short on vitality. The paper, titled A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, is under associate audit for distribution in an anonymous major logical diary. In 1983, Hawking and his associate James Hardell co-composed a paper depicting the swelling that occurred after the Big Bang, the quick development of room that made a universe. The hypothesis depended on the presence of different universes, framed in the meantime as our own amid the Big Bang. The hypothesis, be that as it may, couldn't be tried. Be that as it may, testing the thought through experimentation was precisely what Hawking tried to do. We needed to change the possibility of a multiverse into a testable logical structure, said Thomas Hertog, the co-creator of the paper and Hawking's mentee, as per the Sunday Times. In the event that Hawking were as yet alive, the paper may have even won him his first Nobel Prize, different analysts said. The honor, in any case, isn't given after death. Be that as it may, not every person concurs the working paper's discoveries are earth-shattering. His last paper looked to save some prescience, yet the contentions are up till now unconvincing, said Professor Neil Druck executive of Canada's Perimeter Institute and a companion of Hawking, told UK's The Times. Selling passed on calmly in his home on March 14 at 76 years old because of complexities related with the neurodegenerative infection he'd battled for the greater part of his grown-up life, amyotrophic sign-long sclerosis.